I just found the best Ford F-150 package ever. Let me see if I can have someone pull up for me. Hold on one second. Oh, there it is. Man, check that out, man. That looks so good. Yes. 2023 Ford F-150 Platinum. And guess what? It has the black pack too, guys. Look at that. It looks so good. And I want to introduce you guys to somebody too. Alrighty guys, so this is Brian. He's one of the truck specialists here at hey Larry's Miller. And uh, so what do you like to sell, man? Awesome, man. I, you know, honestly, F-150s are my favorite. This is like the cat's meow, guys, of the F-150. This is the Platinum with the blackout package. Then in addition, we've got the power boost engine. So we're looking at 430 horsepower, 570 torque. You got about a 650 mile range, 23 to 25 miles per gallon of gas. This thing is fully equipped with front and rear sensors that gives you 360 camera as well. It's also equipped with a 7.2 kilowatt generator so you can plug in everything you need when you're camping, not worried about it. You can actually run that generator with the truck off as well, so it's really, really cool, guys. So great for all the fun stuff you need to do when you're out and about. Blackout package as well comes with like a little bit more cool features like the 20 inch wheels, the blackout grill that comes on Raptor and trimmer. Also, you got a high gloss grill as well, so it's a super nice high gloss grill. These are also smoked lenses up front too, guys. So, also you got all the other goodies that come with the Platinum, the self-driving, adaptive cruise, lane centering, blue cruise, all that jazz. In addition to Platinum, guys, we also get the Lincoln leather. So it's a lot more of that soft, supple quality, high quality leather. Really, really nice, guys. You got 10-way power seats and driver and passenger. Memory seating for three. This has a Bang & Olufsen 18 speaker sound system. 18 speakers? 18 speaker right. guys, yeah. Headrest speakers and the headrest as well guys, so super sweet. Uh, in the back you got rear heated seats as well. This one is equipped with what they call the partition lockable storage. So this thing can kind of come up, you put a bunch of storage underneath there, but say you want, you can actually collapse it down and still have flat actual storage space. Nice. So it's, it's pretty nice guys. Also you got a twin panel moonroof up top as well. Really nice, kind of trim along oh, the doors. Nice. Look at that. Sheesh. Yeah, the Platinum package is the best, guys. But yeah, if you guys are in the market, be sure to look up Brian. You want to give me your number? Yeah, please. It's going to be an area code 385-259-8259. Guys, super easy to remember. 385-259-8259. I'm a veteran down here. I know a lot about the trucks. Come on down, I'll help you out. Awesome, thank you, bro. Yeah. All righty, so Brian pretty much gave you guys a walk around the truck, but listen. If you are in the market, be sure to look him up. Brian, you guys have a cell phone number, be sure to reach out to him. But this is probably one of the nicest blackouts I've seen. I've never seen a blackout on any Ford because these trucks are never in stock. And they do have the truck here at Larry H. Miller, so be sure to give these guys a look up. Ask for Brian. Now obviously this truck has a lot of options on it, so let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker, and then we'll jump back into the video. Be sure to pause it. I'm not gonna go through everything on this window sticker, but here's the spec of the truck. It is the power boost, so it's the hybrid system, and this is the standard equipment. And down below, this has have the 701A, so this is a decked out platinum. So that black pack is right here for $1,370, and here's a few things that are going to come in that package. And everything does continue on this side, so this, again, has a lot of stuff, which is kind of how I like it. But base price is $68,490. Total options is 13740 with a destination of 1895 and a total price of $83,625. Now let's be honest here. This truck is super expensive. It really is. 83 grand. That's all of it. Now obviously there's gonna be some discount on this pickup too, guys, but look at the front end. They do black out the grill, and as Brian said, they do black out the Ford emblems too. You can see that camera right there, tow hooks down below. And parking sensors and I love this Oxford white this is like my favorite color right there that is just pretty and this does have the 701a so you have that full projector beam headlights and accent lights LED fog lights and as he said too they do give you these like heat extractors as I call it up top here which gives it a nice accent too blackout wheel now this is not my favorite wheel design but overall it does look good on this truck and these are going to be the Hankook Dynapro AT2s. They ride well. I've done some videos in the past on these too, so be sure to check them out. But check out the capacities for this tire. 2,679 pounds at 51 PSI. 
power deployable running board and I like the fact that they actually black it out too. Really nice accents on this paint too. I love the gray. And I did forget to show you guys in another video and some of you guys got mad at me so look. There it is. So if you need to get in the back of the bed of the truck, it's easy to do right there. Now with Ford, if you want to open a fuel cap door, you do have to push a button for that. It says easy fuel. And then you have that. And to put the running board back in, all you gotta do is just tap it on the side there. They are using leaf springs on this setup here too. And then I like the fact that they give you that sensor on the side here, because that's obviously going to help with if you're going into a garage or something like that. Full LED taillights. Love the black accent, man. That looks so nice. It's probably from the Raptor. And they do give you that black trim out back too. Black exhaust tips down below. Class 4 receiving hitch. 4 and 7 pin. And they do provide a light for your conventional hitch. And here's your power here so you have a 30 amp power plug for this truck super nice LED lights that you can turn on from the bed they come on up there too and on the side and this is power both ways too it's a really nice pickup guys now this is gonna be a full hybrid Ram is still using a mild hybrid system with the Hemi, but no, this is actually a full hybrid system. So this can run fully on electric. And it's gonna have 430 horsepower like you heard, 570 pound-feet of torque, insane. Made it to a 10-speed transmission. And I've driven this truck in the past. I will link a video here for you guys, that way you guys can see it. And I did a full economy run too. So here's what I'm mostly excited about showing you guys, the interior. So I didn't know that they were using Lincoln leather inside this truck, so I'm glad that Brian told you guys that. And I love the wood trim piece right here. It feels like real wood trim too. Suede insert, leather, really nice design here. Stitching looks really classy. And this does have that 18 speaker. And I love the speaker grill right there too. Here's some of the controls. And also for the steering column, it's going to be power. This is not even the highest trim level, but like look at the attention to detail, like a nice little suede insert there, and also around the emblem here. Wow. Nice bolstering on the seat. And here's some of the controls with Lomar. And even on the side, looks like it has like the American flag right there. And here's some of your controls. Three seat memories. Oh man, you, you hear how that door closed just now? Not bad. Now, as far as this interior goes, like this is, I almost can say I need to get in front of a limited now because this is probably nicer than Ram's Laramie's. Like, look at this trim piece right here. Like they even added a line to accent it. That is so nice. Soft open. And of course this one does have where you can drop down the, the uh, gear lever. However, you cannot drop down this. So I guess that's an option even on this truck here. And one of my favorite things and what I ordered on my truck is the panoramic sunroof. Now, I'm glad that they did not give it like a light color roof, but this is not suede, so that's something that I would like to see from them too, since they're already adding a little bit of that in the interior. So you do have a 12 inch screen here, and it shows you a lot of great information. And some of the things you can see is like your trip one and trip two. You can review your fuel economy. And also, as far as the truck info goes, I would like to see a little bit more information from Ford, like the coolant and some of the other things you like to see, like your oil temp. And those are just helpful to see, especially like if you're towing or hauling something. And here's a huge 12 inch display from Ford. Now, I've said this in other videos, I like the larger displays because of the split screen. And you just see more information, like you see your outside temperature, 
um, you can see the time everything's just laid out perfectly on this screen here and down below you have your trailer brake and then you do have some driving modes too so you have let's go to the very first one which is sport uh, eco mode and I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly tow haul mode normal slippery deep snow and sand mud ruts rock crawl and that's pretty much the last one and then you can go back to normal if you like or eco and then on this side let's check out some of the camera views so you do have 360 camera as you guys saw you have that forward facing camera and then the ones on the mirrors and if you push right here you can change what you can see so you can have a full frontal view and then you can have it kind of broken up here there is an auxiliary camera too that you can add you can see your conventional hitch and then this is the backup camera right here dual climate control heated seats and I like that the heated seats do come on when the temperature is below a certain degree wireless charger two USBs and I would say that because of the overall design of this truck this does look kind of cheap here I'm gonna be a little picky just a little picky but look at that that makes it look a little bit better actually you know I'll take back what I said Having that nice wood trim piece with this clothes looks great. Now on the passenger side, you have the same controls for the seat. And I don't know if I showed you guys the top there. You have LED lights, sunglass holder right there, vanity with lights. And then here's just a better look at that trim piece on this side. Super nice, little storage area down here. Wow. And then out back, as you guys saw, you have that 6040 bench and then you have this collapsible storage down below. Flat four surface, heated rear seats, 12 volt, 120 volt, and you have two USBs down below there too. Yeah, I think Ford definitely outdid themselves on this interior. Now obviously with all these options and features and this being the power boost, you're going to take a hit on your payload which you're going to see here in a second. But check this out. Front gross axle weight rating is going to be 3,900 pounds. The rear is going to be 4,150. Gross fuel weight rating is going to be 7,350 pounds. That's 350 pounds more than like a standard F-150 with just the EcoBoost. And then all in, 1,283 pounds of payload. So this is definitely a truck for cruising for sure. But I hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out again to Larry H. Miller here in uh, Salt Lake City. If you are in the market, be sure to look up Brian. Let him know you guys saw the video. And I'll see you guys soon.